hello and welcome to my channel if you're just bumping into this channel for the first time my name is chisum and i thank you for stopping by on this channel i share free sewing tutorial and fashion related content if you would love to be part of this growing community please join us by clicking the subscribe button today we'll be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful top it has a bustier on one side and a princess dart on the other side and it also has an asymmetric yoke attached you're not only going to be learning how to cut this you'll also be learning how to sew and attach the yoke and also give the inside a neat finishing if you're interested to learn this please stick around and let's get started so guys i started with marking my basic lines on the bodice pattern i have marked my shoulder divide by two and slanted the shoulder by one inch then i curved out my armhole for the lines i have here i have the chest line i have the bust points the under bust the waistline and the top length the top length is 23 inches okay so note that the pattern should be on fold okay it should be on fold so that at the end of the day we'll have a full front block you can either use your tracing wheel and trace the marks on the other side when you're done or you go ahead and be marking on both sides whichever works for you now to proceed i'll mark my nipple to nipple divide by two on the bust point and i'll take it all the way down on the waistline and under bust on this side i took one inch and on the center's front side i took half inch then i'll connect with a straight ruler from the under bust to the waist on both sides and then from the under bust to the bust point i'll use a curve ruler to connect it you can see how i'm placing the curve i'm making sure i, I don't really want to have a curvy effect on this side so I connected it with a slight curve. Now I will take the dart from the waistline down to the top length with a straight line. So after that is done, I'm going to measure my bust divide by four on the chest line and I'll add my sewing allowance. On the waistline as well, I'll measure my waist divide by four. I'm going to replace this dart I have here and then I'll add my sewing allowance then on the top length i'll mark my upper hips measurements divide by four plus sewing allowance and then i'll connect the sides together to form my side block after that is done i'll go up by two inches on the side and curved it out into the dart line like i am doing this is optional i just wanted to have a slight curve on the side of the top okay so this is what i did about it now for my neck i'll come in from the end of the shoulder here by four inches and for the neck depth i'll use four inches as well and i'll curve out the neckline so i'm trying to get a perfect neckline curve okay now what i'll do next is to determine where i want the bustier to sit because this is the part i want to have the bustier now on this bust point i came up i came up by 3.5 inches like you can see me measuring right now so i took 3.5 inches and then i'll square that out i'll just uh, mark it out with a straight line like i am doing right now and on the both sides of this line i will take half of an inch just to tighten the over bust area after taking the dart i'll connect it back into the bust point area after that is done i'll go ahead and cut out the side of the pattern so i'll be able to open it up so now the pattern is open here i have a full block front block so this side is the bustier side now this other side is going to be the princess armhole side okay since we already have the tightening on this side now i'm going to connect from the bust point to the mid armhole on this other side i'll get my curve ruler and make sure the curvy part is placed on the bust point side and then i'll connect like you see me do 
so here i will extend the armhole by one inch so that i'll extend the armhole by one inch so that by the time i'm done joining this side to this side there will not be any shortage so i'll recurve the armhole with my armhole curve so guys we're almost done with the pattern now this is the center of the pattern okay i'll just make this dotted lines for a clear understanding so i'm going to connect from the bustier to the middle of the pattern this is to create the sweetheart shape okay so i'll just place my curve ruler like so making sure it's touching the dart leg on this over bust line and connecting to the center of the pattern so i'll just connect with a curve like you see me do and this side is done okay so this is where my sweetheart ended it is about half inch below the bust point line okay now you can take this down to wherever you want it but mine will be stopping right here though i'll cut open the center front for easy attachment of the yoke now to connect this other side i'll place the curve ruler touching the armhole side and the curve on this other side now i am trying to get the shape that i want you can use your free hand to do this or once you have a curve that will be able to do this for you is fine okay just freestyle make sure you have exactly what you're looking for before you go ahead and get satisfied so i connected from here to here and then i'll blend the dart legs i'll blend in the dart legs to meet the new curve that i have okay so this is me making sure that the curve is as smooth and as round as i want and then i'll go ahead and connect it back into the armhole line with um, let's say an l shape a little bit of an l shape okay so that's it for this part now to create the style for the yoke i will come in by two inches from this other armhole side i'll come in by two inches you can either do you can do any inches you want as long as it's not going to extend into the neckline okay so from here i'll come in by two inches and then i'll connect the two inches straight to meet where this sweetheart neckline ends okay i'll connect here to here please don't forget to cover out the neckline for this other part so we'll have a full round neckline so guys we are done with the front block i'll go ahead and label the yoke so from here to here to this side is the yoke i'll cut out the pattern now I'm going to slit open from the center front from the center of the pat pattern like so so just watch carefully where i am cutting out Before I proceed with the cutting, I'm going to label the patterns so I won't have to mix them up. So just go ahead and label the pattern with whichever thing you will be able to recognize them with, okay? So I just label them and match the arrows that to indicate which part is going towards which part. Then I'll proceed with the cutting. So all the front pattern pieces will be cut one one on fabric okay the yoke you can only cut two if you want to use one to line in the other now let's proceed to the back pattern 
now for the back part i have marked my basic lines i'll go ahead and put my shoulder divide by two on the shoulder line slant my shoulder by one inch and connect it straight to the chest line i'll connect the shoulder slope to the neckline area i'll go ahead and mark my body measurements on the chest line the waistline and the top length and then i'll connect the side of the pattern to form my side line now i'll cover out my armhole with the armhole curve i'll simply place it i don't want it to be too deep because this is the back armhole so i'll take my neck with the same i took for the front pattern the neck that i took for initially and i changed my mind and reduced it to two inches then i curved out the neckline on the top length, I'll measure half of my nipple to nipple and also on the chest line, then I'll connect it straight. Now, I'll come down by one inch on the chest line. That is where my dart is going to end. I'll connect half inch on both sides to the chest line and straight to the top length. So, if you want to have an open back, just like I, I have on my own, what I did was on the chest line, I came in by one inch. On the chest line here, come in by one inch. On the lower part, I came in by two inches and I'll connect that straight. So now this whole side is going out. This is my new center back and side back. So from the chest line up to the neckline is the yoke. I'm going to tighten, I'm going to tighten the over bust the back over bust by half inch on both sides because this side will be relaxing on the back line so it won't gape okay so i'll tighten by half of an inch and connect it straight now this is the dart okay so to create the keyhole on the back yoke i came down from the neckline by one inch and connected back to the dart that is towards the side back okay so this is what i did and this is the yoke and this is the side please don't forget to label your patterns so you won't mix them up i forgot to cover out the side of the back just like i did for the side of the front okay so i cover that out and then i'll continue cutting now the whole of the pattern pieces for the back we are going to be cutting two of each both the yoke because the yoke will be lined definitely and the side back and center back i will also mark to indicate i mark arrows to indicate which side is going to which side this is the upside and of course the downside is obvious so i'll go ahead and cut out the pattern and proceed to cut them out on the fabric so now i'm arranging and pinning the patterns on the fabric to help them stay in place when i'm cutting out and i'll go ahead and cut out i'll add allowance to the side i was not able to add allowance on the pattern okay i'll add allowance to the center side that will be joining them together and on the lower part and also on the upper part so go ahead and add whatever inches that is okay for you to sew with so you can see i am not adding allowance on the side because i already added allowance on the side on on the pattern i have cut out all the pattern pieces on the fabric okay so the way they will be attached on the same machine is the way i have arranged them right now okay so this part is going to this part according to the parts that will be joined to each other the yoke will come like this to this point and this point to the shoulder okay so i also cut out uh, lining pieces for all, all the pieces here i have lining for all of them so it's one lining and one fabric that i have cut out and these are all the front pattern pieces so let me show you what the back pieces look like 
these are the back pieces here i have cut two of each pattern okay so i also indicated arrows to know which side is going to which side okay so i also have lining pieces for the back pattern as well as the yoke for the yoke i curved it out more because i want to have a visible opening on the center back side okay so this is nothing serious so let's head over to the sewing machine and join the pieces together so i'll join this side to this side and then i'll join this side to this side okay so i'll go ahead and match them up right side facing right side and sew along with half of an inch i'll take off the pattern papers now and then i'll match them together and then i'll sew along with half inch so whatever i do to the fabric i'm also going to do for the lining or with the lining make sure you arrange them to stay in place while you sew especially if you didn't pin it in place after joining the first side i will join the second side i'll make sure i match them right side facing right side and secure it with the pin to hold it in place i'll keep arranging while i sew from the bottom to the top with half of an inch now after joining i'll make my notches round it and turn it to the right side now it's time to attach the yoke i'll get the yoke and match it to with the fabric making sure the side that is facing the the sides are matching so i'll match the shoulder together and pin it all the way from top to where the yoke ends then after pinning i'll go ahead and sew with half of an inch after attaching the shoulder side of the yoke i'll get the pattern paper so i'll measure to cross check from the dart line to where the yoke ends on the pattern then i'll mark the same thing i'll take the same measurement on the fabric this is because the net is stretchy so by the time we are joining it will not extend now i'll get the other center front and match it right side to right side i'll pin it all the way from the bottom to the top to where the yoke starts and where it ends okay so you can see i have excess of the yoke i'm going to trim it off now i'll sew from the bottom to the top i'll sew half inch into the yoke and then i'm going to shift my hand towards the other part of the seam line as you can see me demonstrating in the video so make sure you keep arranging and putting everything in place while you sew along with half of an inch or whatever inches you added for sewing okay so after sewing i'll take out the pins now this is how the yoke is looking you can see how relaxed it is right here okay i'm going to go ahead and join the back pieces together now after joining the back pieces together next thing is to attach the back yoke so i'll attach from this dart point to the side i'll face the yoke down like so and i'll pin it down then i'm going to sew with half of an inch so the two yoke that you can see here is for the two two back pieces you know the back pieces are two because the center back is open so i'll go ahead and join the yoke for the two back pieces with half of an inch i'll be using this ready-made loops for my back pieces i actually bought one yard which i used for the two back pieces and i think i bought it about 200 naira i think 200 naira okay so that is what i'll be using for mine if you want to if you want to make loops for yours with your fabric it's fine so what whichever one you want to use is totally okay so i'll attach on both sides of the back pieces making sure i leave allowance on the top and on the down part for turning the lining 
Next, I'll be turning the fabric with the lining pieces. So I'll get the lining pieces and match them right side with the fabric. I'll put down the yoke to face the the right side of the fabric and i'm going to pin it at the dart area i'll match the dart on the fabric with the one on the lining and i'll pin now the stitch is supposed to run from where the yoke ends round to the down of the dread of the top following the shape of this singular lining piece i'm holding now now i'll go ahead and sew with half of an inch just so along following the shape of that singular lining piece okay it's going to serve as a guide to the turning of the the fabric so i'll sew on one inch if possible make sure your stitch is on the exact stitch that you have on the fabric initially i mean the stitch that was used to attach the yoke okay after sewing, I'll make notches. Then if I turn it to the right side, this is what it looks like. So I'll turn the other side. I'll start from the shoulder area, pin and then stitch with half of an inch. I'll also follow the shape of this particular lining piece I have here and sew from top to bottom. After sewing, I'll notch it all around, turn it to the right side, and this is what it looks like. Now, for the back pieces, I'm only going to be turning the upper part and the center back with the, the lining pieces. Next, I'll be joining the side of the front to the side of the back. I'll match them like so right side facing right side once i flip it over like this i'll be able to join the fabric to fabric separately and after joining the fabric to fabric from top to bottom i'll flip over to the lining part and join the sides together and make sure right sides are facing each other the same thing i did for one side i'll do for the other side now i'm done joining them side by side and this is what is looking like at this point i also went ahead to turn the hemline of this other side which will be demonstrating with this remaining side so i'll fold in the fabric and turn it over to the hemline i'll make sure i match the that that the dart on the fabric is matching the dart on the lining and i'll go ahead and sew with quarter of an inch after sewing i will notch and turn it out to the right side and this is what is looking like now this remaining part i will not be able to turn it the same way i turned the other so i'll fold it in iron it and then top stitch on it afterwards i'll go ahead and attach the sleeve you can attach any sleeve of your choice to this you can see how neatly finished the inside is i'll give this a good press and then show you the final look here is the final look guys you can see how neatly the inside is finished this is my main focus actually okay so this has brought us to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching to the end now if this video was helpful to you in any way please support this growing page by liking comment drop your comments in the comments subscribe to this channel if you're yet to and then i hope to see you in my next tutorial Bye.